It kind of feels like home, even if it's your first time coming. A real celebration of life and music. If you've never been to a festival, you need to go to one very soon. <laughs> what this weekend is, is the first ever Swanee reunion. Although it's not the first one, it's the first one of this name, because it's kind of like the 21st. It's great bands, yeah. and a lot of them have been here forever. There's a vibe to it. You can't find it anywhere else. It's not about race or religion or any of that. It's just about life. Well, music's a great equalizer, you know? And then you add these great people who come to these festivals, and it just makes the magic happen. The audience is open and receptive. And once we're comfortable, then we let the audience kind of take take us somewhere. And then we pick that up and take them somewhere. It's that free exchange of creativity between an audience and a band. That's the magic of music. It expands. It's an expanding universe. And we're the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> One of the stars of the show here is the these live oak trees with the moss. Because you are kind of like under budding angel oaks where the, la the limbs are starting to come out and actually embrace the stage. There'll be certain times where even though you're doing pretty much the same thing, for some reason it seems important. And there's something that just brings out a different thing. We're musicians and we feel and we emote. And bluegrass music just does that to you makes you want to dance, makes you want to cry. There are all these emotions. When you have a little magic in there, a little healing, a little nature adding its own groove to the mix, that's what makes it the place you want to be. Yeah, it worked out nicely. Thrilled to be here, Bobby. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I know it, and I feel it, and uh, that's enough for me. <laughs> They also have after hours, after the last concert's done, they'll have other little places set up throughout the park where the professional musicians who you just watched on stage, they will come around and they'll actually sit there and play and jam all night long. Which doesn't always happen. I heard someone describe it as, you know, that they've cultivated this very blurred line between the audience and the bands. The collaborations that happen at this place, you know, it's it's you know, unparalleled really in our world. A lot of times I carry that experience with me when I'm out on the road playing at different places where I try to put myself here in that situation where I really felt free. Even my daughter who's 11, she could feel it. Just that's where the music is literally just coming alive. Young kids saying, I've never heard anything like that. What is what is that? And then I've had older folks come up to me and go, I never thought I would ever hear that sound again. And that just tears my heart out. They take a lot of artists that are underground and give you an opportunity to play. You got your heart? We got a mandolin? It's a big family, I think. The world's turning faster than I thought. That's gonna leave a mark. Hear me sing. That's I play these things all over the country, all over the world. I, you know, I play bigger ones and louder ones and fancier ones, but I've never played any sweeter ones. This is this is the sweet. It's like therapy. You know, it's definitely I leave feeling better. It's a little bit like a church that has different denominations coming in every week. It's coming every week. You will go away feeling rejuvenated, inspired. You will let go of all your worries and all your cares. You'll let music carry you away. And it's where everybody should be tonight. I'm just glad I'm one of the lucky.